Hello and welcome. Today we're in the newest snapshot of Minecraft and we're going to be looking at all the new blocks and features and sort of stuff added to the game. So, first up is the honeycomb block. This block was sort of shown off at the Minecon. It was like in the background of like one of the like like the images you could see like behind Jeff. So, well not Jeff, Jeb. Um, so yeah, like the honeycomb has no real use. It's a decorative block. Oh, it makes a weird sound like I'll be quiet and... Sort of sticky sound. Does it have a breaking sound? Well, let me just check. Yep, pretty sticky sort of sounding. You can craft it with four honeycombs, so jump over here. Grab four of them. Bam. Four honeycomb, which you get from bees. I showed you in the last snapshot video, or one of the previous ones, how to get honeycomb and honey. So it's a cool looking block. No real features as of yet, like doesn't do anything, but it's really cool looking. You can farm it pretty easily from beehives and stuff, so yeah, next up is the honey. The honey block is just like really cool. It's crafted with four honey bottles. Uh, let me just grab them all. Honey bottles can't be um, stacked, unfortunately, so it's a little bit tricky to get them like this, but that's all they have to do. Also really easy to farm, so well, you keep the glass bottles as well, which is nice. Throw these away for now, but yeah, it's got a, it's also got a cool look sounding um placing and thing animation. So I'll be quiet again. Ah, oh, it sounds all like sticky and stuff. It's funny. I wonder what they use for that. Like, do they actually get honey and like sort of s s sticky? Who knows? But yeah, so honey block. It's got a cool like sort of like transparent texture. I found this out if I you look like underneath the block. It's like uh. Here, look, look, look how transparent it is. You can see, like, the sky and stuff behind it. Can you see, like, the in the... Down here? It's, like, all transparent, which is pretty cool. Let me just throw these back in here. Now, the honey block has got a lot of really cool features to it. So, I stand here on this piston setup I have here. This is a sticky piston setup. And if I click the lever, I'm still on the same block, so... Unlike slime box, it actually like carries you. So the honey block, if I were to stand on, let's say here, like I was gonna stand right here and click the lever, or no, on the block actually, it'll take me with it. So if I were to stand on the second one, I'd be pushed the second one. But if I was to stand on the second one on the slime block, I stay where I am. Look. I don't move at all. Look, if I were to stand here with a honey block, it moves you. So this is really this is really a big deal for redstone contraptions. So if you were to build a flying machine of some kind, I'm waiting for Mumbo Jumbo's video right now. Like I'm like I'm gonna be freshing my sub box for it, but you could create a system where you can push yourself and or animals or mobs. So if you wanted a flying machine to push, this would be really cool for like moving animals to your base. So like if you had um, let's say like a sheep or something that you wanted to get to your base because you didn't have any sheep, you'd like use a water column, shoot them up high. My mouse, I'm, I'm lagging a little bit. Shoot them up to the sky. The, the, then you make a slime block machine, and then use honey instead of slime blocks to basically shoot it back to your base, and it would literally be really good. It's a, it's a it's a cool feature. I'm glad they added it. Slimebox don't do that, so it's cool. So honey's like really sticky, that's why you stick to it. So it's actually the stickiest like block in the game where you can't even jump. So if I try to press space, I can't jump at all. Look at this. The only way to get alpha off a honey block is either to go to a normal block or on a slab. So you can go from honey to a normal block and I can jump, jump easily. But you can create cool traps with this, like if you were to have like a pitfall trap, you'd be stuck. And then you could have like lava coming in from the sides, like on adventure maps, that'd be really cool. And you could uh, only get out for a little space like this. Um, this made me think, like like this, um, is a, it is cool, it's got a lot of like applications to it. Like, it's got lots of cool like ideas and things you can do with it. The next thing that you can do, which is, well, I'm gonna make a video on this, like another video, and um, look out for it. 
Oh, it's raining. Why is it raining? Slash toggle. Toggle. Is it toggle downfall? Slash weather. Oh, it's weather now. Yeah. Um, clear. That was weird. Why did it start raining? But yeah, the, new, the coolest feature now is the uh, ability to wall ride on the honey. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. Like, it's actually a really cool feature. I'm actually going to do a video on, like, how to wall ride. Like, I'm going to do, like, a little wall ride course for, like, parkour. Like, this is why I'm, I'm really excited for this for parkour, because you can have, like, maps where you have to, like, parkour, like, from the honey. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Like, crazy. I, I'm, I'm excited for this. So, um, let me, uh, go into survival slash game mode. Survival. And then if I were to... Look, it works in the same... Slows your descent. You can't go up it. It's like a ladder, basically. So... You just, like, run at it. It slows you down. So... If you had, like... And if I go back into creative... Um, no, not whether clear. Um, creative. Fly up. So, yeah. Like, it's, like... um, It's cool. You have like a base where you have like a wall that you like slide down like this, and then you can have um, oh, you can have like a slime like yeah, it's like, it's cool stuff. It's cool, it's cool. Um, what else is there? Next feature. This is a really cool feature. So they've changed iron golems. So man, like all those features are so cool. Like I'm re I'm really excited for the 1.15. I'm gonna make a new survival series on it. So check it out from the channel. So. How you got Iron Golem? So Iron Golems have a change, and this is like one of the coolest changes that they just like sprang on us. So we start hitting him. One, two, three, four. Boom. So now Iron Golems start getting cracked the more damaged they are. So if I hit him again, more damaged. Hit him again. There you go. I think this is the final stage of his damage. And this is so cool. Like it shows you how much damage they've taken. So. Let's say you're in the early game and you're in a village and there's an iron golem and there's like a month mon like it's night time and then loads of zombies come and he starts fighting them and he like gets all damaged. You can see it, you can see how much damage he's taken. Which is really cool. It's like an indicator this is cool. This is I am hoping this is like a feature they're adding because they're gonna add in like a golem boss, the same as like the uh what's it called? So yeah, what I'm trying to say is I hope they added this feature because they're gonna add in the golems from the the um, Minecraft Dungeons short as like a boss, and this is sort of like what they do, like a you know the cracking effect to show that the boss has been damaged, which would be really cool. This is like a cool like feature, you know. I don't think there's many animal, any many mobs in the entire game that have this kind of thing. I think only the Wither with like changing to fifty percent health. Is there anything else? I'm trying to think of anything else when it starts getting damaged if it look changes appearance, appearance. Um. Uh, I can't think of any. If there's any, comment that down below. But So if this Iron Golem's been damaged by zombies and skeletons and stuff, and you want it to be repaired, all you have to do is click it with iron, right-click it, and bam, he's fully healthy. So, of course, this will consume the iron, so if I were to whack him up in there again and go into survival. They take a lot of damage, Iron Golems. So if I were to go in survival, no, not weather clear, and then start right-clicking him, bunch of iron, bam, he's completely healed, and back into creative. So the next feature is a bug fix. So bees couldn't harvest um flowers that were on ledges. So if there was like a you know an air block. To the side of the the grass block, they wouldn't be able to harvest the flowers. That's been changed. So that's a bug fix. And finally, like there's a lot of like texture issues. So look at this grass block. Look at like how weird it looks. Like it's like looking. So we're going to like menu and type in sign. Look at the signs. Like there's a lot of like texture issues because they got a new. Look at the bees. <gasps> the baby bee are. Uh, if bees were like that small. I mean, they'd be... Oh, they're so cute. I love them. But yeah, so if... You know, there's a lot of texture issues because they're updating the engine, which is really, really cool. So, hopefully that the game, like, runs better, which is what the idea is. Look at them harvesting the pollen from these flowers. Ah, oh, 
They're so cute. I love bees. Like, bees are awesome. I'm going to make a whole bee base. Like, um, the honeycomb is really cool because you can make like, a whole beehive kind of base. And yeah, these are all the features I um, that were added. There were a few more bug fixes and stuff I can't re quite remember. Um, like small bug fixes and stuff, I believe. There's just like a lot of bugs being added because of the rendering engine changes. So all the like blocks and stuff look weird. Like, like there's so many bugs. So um, I always like put W in E's to open and close it. So if I want the search, I'll always click E to like, and then I'll press W because I want to move forward straight away. So I'll always type in U. Ooh, every time I want to like leave the menu, which is funny, but yeah. So if you see any new, you know bugs that you haven't seen before, just like report them on the the Minecraft. Is it launcher or like bug? Tra it's bug tracker. Put it on the Minecraft bug tracker because the bugs are you know very annoying. Obviously, you don't want them to be in the the final release of one point fifteen. You know, it's good. They're good. It's good. It's on the snapshots. You want to see bugs on snapshots, so you. Don't see them in the main game. Hopefully, Honeycomb gets a new feature like bees will like you do something with it, or you can do something with it. If not, it's a cool like looking block. Um, actually, hang on a minute, magma. Is this just like magma retextured? Like, I just want to just quickly check. Uh, no, it's not. It's like different. If you thought it looked like magma, magma moves. Whoa, look at that! Like the I didn't know that. That's really cool. So, um, it's not just a retexture; it's a brand new texture. Very cool. That these two are very easily farmable. Um, from the beehives, like you can automate it as well. Like you can just literally stick some. I love how like all the bees are everywhere now. But you can just like literally automate like a farm of it with um dispensers now, which is super super broken because you can just get lots of this. You don't even need a slime farm anymore. Like those super hard to make slime farms that you have to like hollow out an area and like have magma blocks and stuff, you know, bam, get rid of that. Get a little bee farm going. Environmentally friendly. It's environmentally friendly. Save the bees. Bee movie. Do you like jazz? You know, all those beams. I love the bee movie. I actually love the bee movie. Like I loved it before it was like a meme as well. So it's like, it's great when you love something before it was a meme. Like you love like SpongeBob, like back when you're watching SpongeBob. And then now it's like a huge meme. And it's like funny, but yeah. I think I've loved Speed Movie. That's the end of the episode. Oh, wait, one more thing, quickly. I'm gonna just add in the very end of the video the title screen. Okay, so they've got a new title screen for Minecraft, which they do every new snapshot now. So they're adding in like, was that the new mountains? Ooh, a bit of a bit of a sneaky thing there. They may be adding. But yeah, there's bees. There's um, what's it called? Bee hives. Oh, Beehive. Ah, oh, man. The, the bee puns are just, like, hilarious. Like, I love all the bee puns. Like, they even did them themselves in the the thing. But there's those flowers. They did it with, like, the aquatic update with all the thing. And then the village and pillage. It looks like it's going to be a feature. Oh, the nether one's going to be so cool when you have, like, the nether background on the front. Where it's all, like, you know, piglins and stuff. But are these the new mountains? Oh, these are new mountains. I don't know. They look pretty good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. These are huge spawns bike there is that a new mountain generation right can someone send this in can someone like look is that, is that generate normally i need someone to like look this up for me because i don't know if this, this generates normally but yeah and this is really cool i almost forgot one last thing there's a new feature in the um options menu so if i jump to options if you go to accessibility settings and you click hold sneak or sprint you can toggle to now if you set it to toggle, you can start sprinting. If I were to start sprinting forward. If I were to, um... Where is it? Ah! So now I'll just like keep sprinting, even though I'm not holding it. So, that's really cool. And also sneak, so if I shift... So it's like the Xbox version and like the, you know, console versions, so... I'm now completely shifted, and I won't unshift until I press shift again. So, if you're making a long, like, like bridge, you need to, like, build like this. I'm not even holding shift. This is, like, the coolest thing as well. Oh, 
different height blocks. Oh yeah, honey blocks are like different height. I found that out in like Exuma's video, and he was talking about the snapshot, which was pretty good. He said like they're like actually in. So you see like the little like block inside. That's how big the block actually is. So if you like, you know, have you to like? Oh, I'm still shifting. That's hilarious. I'm like trying to fly, and I can't because I'm shifting still. That's a cool feature. It's like, it. So if you're like building bridges and stuff, you can just like not have to worry about holding shift when you press shift again. It's a nice feature if you want to change it. Um, I'll keep them off because I like to hold shift. It's ah uh, the intense days are over where you have to like hold shift for like you know building and then you hear a gas and you just like sprint back on that like little like thing. Now you just press shift once and then it's all good. But that's the um end of the video. The actual end of the video. I, I ended it twice before. And it was like, I was like, oh yeah, one more thing. And one more thing. It's like an um, uh, E3, and, um, <laughs> it's literally an E3 presentation. Oh, and one more thing. You know? Sans is in Smash. Like, literally, like that. it's like that kind of thing. He actually is in Smash, which is funny. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, hopefully B-Movie Jerry gets into Smash. And that's it. Thank you, and goodbye.